G'day guys, it's Trav here from Neighborhood. Are you wanting to create custom feedback surveys to send to your contacts so you can fine tune their customer journey? Creating custom surveys can help with just that and we're gonna show you how to create one right now. So just as a heads up, you'll need the Service Hub Pro or Enterprise to use this feature. And if you're keen on more practical support inside HubSpot, Neighborhood does offer a comprehensive, easy to follow course so that you're making the most out of your HubSpot investment. Stay tuned for more info at the end of this video. And if you wanna take your learning offline though, we'll include a free downloadable PDF in the description below. So let's get cracking into creating custom surveys. A really, really cool new tool that HubSpot has brought out that they finally brought out because for so long I was using forms and it was annoying. But with custom uh, surveys, we can go through and we can create any question that we want and we can start reporting on that. So to find it, uh, we're gonna go up to service and we're gonna go down to feedback surveys. Now this is just like the CES, NPS and all the other ones that they had in the past and the location of them are exactly the same place as well. So if you're familiar with uh, the surveys area, this is where the management of them are. You might create different ones and create automation that sends out specific ones at specific stages of the life cycle journey of your customer. This is where you can manage them all and see the reports on how they're going. But to create these ones, you wanna click on the big orange button at the top right hand side there. And we will see all of these down the left hand side. So the custom survey is the top one, which is very convenient for us actually. Um, but you can sort of see down here as well um, that we've got a customer support one. Now we've already created one, so we, it's not letting us create two. Um, customer satisfaction survey, if we wanna sort of uh, help somebody out, we can automate uh, something to be sent to them that would give back a green light, red light or orange light and an NPS, uh, which I'm sure hopefully all of you know about, but uh, give us a rating out of 10 on how they would recommend somebody to family or friends. But we're not doing that today, we are doing custom surveys. So to get started, um, what we're gonna do, let's skip all this, because I'm gonna teach you all about it today. Click on the next button. There's two options that we can do here. We can do email or we can use a shareable link. Now, just remember um, that the email can be automated uh, or it can be a single push. Uh, and the shareable link can be great as well if we are using, say, the, a text message integration uh, or we're basically wanting to use it as a CTA on a landing page. The world's your oyster. In most cases, we'll probably just send out an email. Um, they can click the answers to that and it'll bring it to a landing page. Um, but think about how you want the application to work. Um, best case, always revert back to the email. So we're going to click on create because we want to create that email. And here we get to play with all of the different options. Now, this is not too dissimilar to the email tool inside HubSpot, um, which is really great. Now, I'll, I'll say it once and I will say it again, uh, always start off with your naming conventions. It's always gonna be very helpful for two to three or four years down the track when you've got 100 different types of custom surveys and you really wanna try and find them. So work out a, custom, a naming convention that's gonna work for you. For this, we wanna be, uh, we wanna get feedback, uh, let's just say the HubSpot how to, so HubSpot how, how to's, uh, and we wanna say the August um, feedback. We might send this to people that sign up for the PDF or something along those lines. Put August 22, there you go. So as we go through, um, we've got uh, a little sort of what you see is what you get sort of widget there that we can go through and change the text. Down the left hand side, we've got some question types. So we've got rating, we drag this across here and drop it here. Um, we can do a rating out of 10. We can ask the question at the top left hand side. Uh, we can also um, go through and uh, do stars or we can do circles. Choose your own adventure on that one, I guess. Then uh, as we go through, we can go back and um, we'll fill out this information. You could sort of say, uh, how uh, did you enjoy um, our video? And we can do it out of 10 um, as well. So we can make it required so that we put a little star there so they have to answer the question before they submit the, the, uh, the answers. If we go back, uh, we've got sentiment. So if we drop that down there, um, we can sit there and we've got uh, three, uh, smiley, okay, and sad. That's from the customer satisfaction one as well. So we can ask specific questions. Radio buttons. So we might want to sit there. Whoop, did I drop that one? I don't think I dropped that one. So we can do radio buttons here. Um, Start having a think about the application as well. Uh, you might want to dig deep into specifically uh, some questions about your products or service. Say for us here at Neighborhood, uh, we might ask a question about who was your project manager. Um, now we probably don't need that because we've got uh, contact owners and whatnot. We'll know who that person's worked with. 
Um, but you can ask specific questions based on this as well. So um, just start having a think about what questions you want the answer to before jumping in here. I'm a big believer with reporting and also this feedback stuff is that if you jump in here and go, oh, okay, cool, I wanna start using check boxes and I wanna start using that and uh, I wanna use a happy face, you kind of then have to apply the questions to what you've put there and it doesn't really make sense. So if you are doing this, probably step back, use a whiteboard or a piece of paper and then sort of write down what are the answers that I'm looking for? You know, was the project delivered in time? If, you know, shipping, did shipping arrive at the right time? Um, did it meet your expectations? That sort of stuff, like that, they are the answers that I wanna know. Write them down first and then jump into here because I think that you just definitely fast track this whole process tenfold, which is kind of what we're doing here at the moment. Um, we can also now um, put in here as well NPS, so we can say NPS scores, which will then get attributed back to the contact as well. Anyway, you go through. Um, you can also, uh, got some common modules down the bottom here as well. So if we need to add specific images, we can drop an image in there uh, and upload it from HubSpot. You can just upload it straight from the computer. It's taking a very long time for it to do this, but uh, you know, we can then go ahead and, and upload uh, an image. Um, or if we go through and um, we might want to sort of um, add a divider uh, or a paragraph. A new tool as well is a step questionnaire as well, which is really great. So um, sometimes if you've got a lot of questions, something to keep in mind, um, it's quite tiresome for the user to be going through and just keep scrolling and answering and answering. A good rule of thumb is, is that you can use this step tool that you can drop in between, which then will allow that person, once they get to that question, to go next. And it will just sort of, so it's a little bit more, uh, you'll get a, a definitely a higher conversion rate when it comes to the answers to the questions that you're asking. Anyway, you're gonna go through there and just fill out all of your questions. Now, again, don't make them too long, depending on it, but definitely refer back to what you were planning before you jumped in there. Uh, so that's the survey. If we scroll a bit to the left, we're gonna have the email. So this is gonna be the email specifically that's gonna be sent out. Now it's actually gonna take us back to the email tool. And this is the email that gets sent to them. So um, this is our logo that we've got here, um, the company name that it is from. Um, we've got the from address. So um, we might wanna make sure that that's from me. So you can see that that's changed the top there. And also the subject line um, using personalization tokens. Uh, and then we've got our subject line. I also would just recommend making sure that you personalize the subject line for a high open rate. Uh, and then we can go through and we can just edit this whole uh, email that gets sent out automatically as well. Um, less is more, to the point, don't waffle on as usual, <laughs> like I'm doing. And then we've got our thank you. So once they uh, answer all the questions, then we can go through and we can say thank you um, and um, have an image there as well. We've got some recipients as well. So um, what we want to do in this instance is that we might want to, um, uh, anyone that has become a customer after 30 days, that's just a stock standard one. You might not necessarily want that. You might be using life cycle stages or you might not be. Uh, just be careful with that. Um, you can start from scratch. So we can sit there and we can actually start looking at specific criteria um, or we could create a contact list to send it all out to them as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then in settings as well, um, we want to uh, go through um, and we want the, if we want some notifications, so contact owner if they write back to them, and also uh, the survey reminder, which is new and very, 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 very much needed. Uh, if they didn't answer the survey, then it will reach back out to them again. What we wanna do is once we're happy with that, it's obviously not gonna send and we're not gonna send today. We're gonna review and publish. It's gonna sit there and it should take us through a page on all of the summaries of what to do. A good rule of thumb when sending out custom surveys is definitely do a test survey first. The last thing you want is feedback and you've misspelt something or you've not sent it to the right person. Just send the test survey, go through and process that yourself just to make sure it all works properly and it all works as it should and then send it out to the whole database. And there you have it. You now know how to create a custom survey inside HubSpot. Now, if you're wanting to make the most out of your HubSpot investment, HubSpot does offer a step-by-step -step course covering marketing, sales, service, and CMS hub in depth, ensuring you and your team are best serving your customers while developing efficient internal processes. We'll include a link for this below. As well, if you're after a PDF version of this for later, or you're passing it on to a mate in need, we'll include a link in the description below. If you've gained value from this video, or you're keen to learn more about HubSpot, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. But for now, happy HubSpotting.